everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we will be creating a car game in scratch 3.2 this is the patch 1 of the tutorial so now let's get started these are the sprites and costumes i'll be using in my game you can either draw them take them from the internet or from the link in the description so now let's start with the code we'll start with the code of the start screen when the flag is clicked Go to X0 and Y0, that is to the center of the stage. Hide. Create a new block called Start Screen Elements. Run without screen refresh. OK. Now we'll use this block under the Hide block. And now define the block Start Screen Elements. Go to Motions. Take the block X-80 and Y-80. Switch costume to title. We'll also take the block from controls, create clone of myself. Go to x minus 105, y minus 50. Switch costume to the button, create clone of this thing, create clone of myself. Duplicate this, go to x minus. 185 and Y minus 110. Switch costume to how to play button. Create clone of myself. Duplicate this again. Go to X minus 25 and Y minus 110. Switch costume to shop button. Create clone of myself. Duplicate this again. Go to X 142 and Y minus 65. Switch costume to the another costume that is Scratchy Skull. Create clone of myself. Go to X0 and Y0 that is to the center of the screen back again. When I start as a clone, set size to 100%. That means its original size. Set ghost effect to 100. That means it won't be visible to the screen. Show. From events, we'll take the block repeat 20 times. Now in this loop, change ghost effect by 5. Change this 5 to minus 5. So it will reduce the ghost effect until it's 0 and visible. Forever loop, if block. From operators, we'll take the block if costume number equals to 1. Then Repeat until block, operators equals to, repeat until direction equals to 100, go to motions and take the block turn towards the right by 1 degrees and from controls wait for 0 0.001 seconds. Duplicate this whole thing, repeat until direction equals to 80, this time Turn towards the left by 1 degrees and wait for 0 0.001 seconds. Now the same for costume number equals to 5. Remove these. Controls. Repeat 30 times. Move 2 steps. Wait for 0 0.001 seconds. Duplicate this, put it beneath this. Repeat 30 times. Move minus 2 steps. Wait for 0 0.01 seconds. Now we will take another when I start as a clone block. Under this, for Revolu, if block. From looks, we will take the block. If costume number equals to 1, then controls if else block, if touching mouse pointer, then from looks we'll take the block set size to 110 percent, that means it will increase the size if the mouse pointer is touching the particular sprite, else set size to 100 percent. Duplicate this whole thing, put it beneath it, if costume number equals to 2, then 
if touching mouse pointer then set color effect change this to set brightness effect minus 15 so it will get darker set size to 110 percent else set brightness effect to zero and set size to 100 percent duplicate this same for costume number three and do the same for costume number four also now we'll code the scrolling background effect now in this background sprite when the flag is clicked motions go to x zero and y zero that is to the center of the stage set ghost effect to 100 that means it won't be visible show from events we'll take the block repeat 20 times now in the slope from looks we'll take the block change brightness change ghost effect by minus 5 so it will reduce the ghost effect until it's zero and visible to the screen go to the back layer create clone of myself go to x zero and y zero that means to the center of the screen control forever loop forever change x by two if block bigger than sign from operators if x position is bigger than 460 then go to x minus 465 and y 0 now we will take another block from controls when I start as a clone go to the back layer go to x negative 465 and y 0 change the negative to positive so go to x465 and y0 forever change x by 2 if block if x position is bigger than 460 then go to x minus 465 and y0 now if you want some sound effects or some music to make it more interactive go to the background sprite when the flag is clicked forever play sound and whatever your sound is but make sure it's play sound whatever until done or all the songs will start playing at once so i have four songs over here and after one is done the second one will start and this will go on forever now we can check out a project so if you found the tutorial helpful don't forget to leave a like and a comment for more such videos subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell bye meet you next time